day two of uh, how clean can you get my car challenge. Um, so let's have a quick catch up on what we did. So first day we got the car, we uh, cleaned the wheels. So we used um, uh, Sonex uh, on two of the wheels and then we used uh, Built Humber on the other two wheels. First time I used it and there's no doubt that my preference will be uh, to use this in future, the Built Humber. Um, really quite impressed with it. Um, so we cleaned the wheels, we cleaned the uh, outer face of the tyres with uh, Adam's tyre rubber cleaner. We then, um, once we did that, we went into the engine bay, cleaned the engine bay with uh, um, Verso, some uh, auto finesse Verso, um, diluted 3 to 1. Um, that cleaned the engine bay. When we cleaned the engine bay, we then gave all the plastic bits and pieces and the hoses and everything else a coat of auto glim um, vinyl rubber um, so that's got the engine bay nice and clean oh we also use car pro pearl on the tires to dress the outside of the tires um, so we did the tires the wheels we did the engine bay we then went and uh, snow foamed the car and i used auto glim polar blast to um, uh, wash the car and we then used Adam's car shampoo um, so snow foamed it Adam's car shampoo um, dried it we then used uh, auto finesse iron out use auto finesse iron out to get rid of uh, the contamination um, and then when we did that we rinsed that off and we uh, clay barred it so the outside of the car has been clay barred um, and I also dressed all of the plastic bumpers at the front, um, the side seals and all the bits at the back. Um, all of that was also treated with Auto Glim vinyl and rubber care. Um, come up really nice. Um, and when the owners come back, the car's been clayed, washed, clayed and uh, the plastic um, treated. And they were over the moon. They thought it was absolutely the cleanest it's ever been. Um, so I think we're winning. So what are we going to do today? So today, uh, that was two days ago. So today I'm going to wash the car again very quickly um, and dry it. And then I'm going to go into all the door jams and the, um, the uh, trunk door jam. All of those areas. I'm going to clean that with um, some Verso. Um, and then I'm going to treat them with um, Maguire's Quick Wax on the inside of the door jams. I'll do that, so I'll wash the car and dry the car, and then while it's just getting the last little bits of water that come out of these little um, nooks and crannies on the car, um, I'll do the door jams to help do the car dry. Go over it again um, and make sure it's all dry, and then I will also, before we uh, treat the car, I'm going to use Car Prey Razor, go over the car with that just to make sure there's no uh, um, oil or um, substances left on the car so it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to use um, Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax. Um, used this on a couple of cars, really pleased with it. It's not cheap, it's about, I don't know, £55, something like that. But it's a good quality wax, so I'm going to um, give that a wax. Hopefully get all that done today. Um, I think um, I've got the car till this evening. I, don't, I think they're doing something else for the school run this evening, this afternoon. So I'd like to think I can get all that done today. Um, and if I can, we're then going to move to the inside of the car and um, start to clean that up. So... Uh, Let's open the doors and go out in the freezing conditions. It's not quite freezing, I think it's about um, 5 or 6 degrees out there, but the sun's out. So let's go out and start. So we'll power wash it first, get all the dust off, and then we'll give it a quick wash. <laughs>
Right, so the car's been washed again and dried. Got all the doors open, so we're now gonna go and have a look at the uh, door jams and uh, some of the inside, so you can see uh, the task ahead of me. Door jams aren't too bad. Inside of the car is a different matter. Again, door jams, quite easy. They were so easy to get to on this car as well. I know uh, my car is a lot more difficult. You can see I've got my work cut out when I get to the inside. I'm using Verso 3 to 1. Through the bottom of the doors. Get in your way, I'm afraid, but. Again, I'll. I'll give this a bit of a clean while I'm here. I'll go over it again later when I do the inside, but there's a lot of mud. So we'll just give it that. All right, let's get the hose and rinse that, shall we? So all I tend to do is just literally just rinse that off. And with this jet setting, you can control it quite well. I'll just go over and dry that now. What I tend to do with door jams, rather than use auto glim high definition wax, I tend to use uh, Maguire spray wax in here. It's easier to get in. It's quite good wax, but it's not half as expensive. One door jam, free to go, plus the boot. But luckily I've done the uh, bonnet, under the bonnet yesterday, so, or the day before. So, uh, just got three more of them to do. Go around the inside of the, the boot trim. Right, so we've uh, rewashed it and dried it. I've done all the door jams, um, done the boot. So what I'm going to do now, while the sun's got, well, the air's got a little bit of heat in it from the sun, not much of the sun. Some big clouds coming over. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wax it now. Get my uh, high definition wax out. And white placota comes with it. 
quite a smart little applicator that comes with it, but it ought to be smart for the money. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get on with waxing it. So, there we go. It's probably the first bit of wax this has had for quite a while. So we go ahead and wax. What I'll do in this weather, I'll only do one panel at a time. And then uh, after about a week or two weeks, maybe a week, get it back and uh, put some um, Car Pro Hydro 2 on it. I always try when I do this to keep it organised. So, I'm going to carry on doing this and uh, I'll get back to you when it's time to take it all off. So, <coughs> done the bonnet. I'm just going to rub it off now. Got my, uh, my plush cloth, I've taken it off. So I'll take this off now. And just a little tip for anyone that's watching, that um, if you do get any of this um, on the black trim, um, Fart there, Auto Glim Fast Glass is a really good way to get it off. Just put some on a, on a cloth and wipe it over and uh, it, uh, it comes off quite easily. So again, like I'll put it on, I'll take it off in a organised way. Oh, that feels so much better already. That's, that feels great. That feels really good. That's so, you know, it's, there's no doubt, there's no doubt about it. Ceramic coatings are, are great, give better protection, but there's nothing like putting wax on and taking it off. Perhaps it's because I'm an old git, I don't know, but uh, I love it. I'm using Meguiar's Gold Class Quick Wax. Move it around, work it in. Buff it off. So I've uh, cleaned the other side of the car windows. Um, I'm just going to do these two. I'm using um, Angel Wax Vision back window was so dirty I uh, had to get um, auto glim glass polish out to clean it because no matter what I did it was like uh, just like sandpaper so I went over with a um, auto glim polish glass polish brought it up a tree so just do these now so just a case of Turn the cloth over. That's the outside done. I've uh, waxed the uh, inside of the fuel filler cap. It's all waxed, all the windows are clean. Just going to give the wheels a quick wipe over and then start on the inside. So, I've emptied some of the rubbish out. First thing to do is to go over and hoover everything. And, uh, got a bucket to put rubbish in. And uh, let's, see, uh, let's see where we go. No carpets in here, it's just the uh, basic uh, floor mat. But there's no actual carpet, so 
So I'll give it a hoover. Uh, use that to start with. Now I've got a, a brush to go through some of the dashboard metal. Oh, found two pens. Got paid for the job. Right, let's start it up. How clean can you get my car challenge? Well, I finished. I've just uh, finished hoovering and cleaning the inside of the car. So uh, let's go and have a look, shall we? So there we go. I think it was successful considering how dirty it was. But like I said, it's a real family warrior. It uh, it works every day. Um, two very active young grandchildren with their muddy boots did their best. But I beat them in the end. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So, here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what the next challenge brings me, shall we?